What's up guys, here with you with FC Wonder Kid, here with my guy, Pedro, how are you? Fine man, all good, ready for one more. And if you clicked in the thumbnail, you know, we're gonna talk about PSG Rebuild, ins and outs, and everything that's going on, because a lot has been happening at PSG, hasn't it, Come on? Yeah, that's true. Uh, the last years have been kind of a disappointment for the PSG board. True. Uh, everybody knows what's their ultimate goal. They want to win the Champions League. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> there's no more interest in them winning the French League anymore. <laughs> I think they're over that. And Wage bill bigger than ever. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's quite hard to believe that they haven't w won it yet with mm. the squad they have. Uh, so maybe the um, the problem is not in the squad itself, but who's heading that squad? Mm. Uh, so, so what do you think about Posh? Well, Posh, po Posh. Pochettino, I think he's in trouble already. He ain't staying because the first appointment that... No, the first thing that happened with all that's happened... If we're going to talk PSG rebuild, rebuild the first tick of the domino was Mbappe renewing. Mbappe renewing was the big up to Luis Campos. <laughs> Straight away, the man who find, found him at Clairefontaine to Monaco, he believed in him. So Mbappe said, this is the man that can make something happen at PSG. And I'll be honest with you, Pedro. I really think Luis Campos is an excellent appointment. What do you think? Portuguese man? Yeah, uh, he knows uh, Portugal better than anyone, Portuguese players. Fox. And above that, he knows football better than many. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Luis Camps is a serious bowler. Uh, he had an amazing squad at Monaco. Yes. Don't forget that he brought together Falca the likes of Falcão, James Rodriguez, João Moutinho. He brought, brought in Mbappe as well. Uh, Fabinho. Bernard Silva. Bernard Silva. Mendy. We, we cannot forget what he did for Monaco. And then again in Lille. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. He, he just he knew that Renat Sanch had much more to give yes. than what he was doing at Bayern. And mm -hmm. he brought him to, to Lille. And they were able to, to win the, the French League last year against PSG mm -hmm. itself. So Luis Camps knows ball better than many. And I think it's a great choice. Great appointment by the PSG board. And it will make all the difference in the future. I agree with a lot you said. And I'm going to say the best trait about Luis Camps, you said it, is talent identification. And that is the main reason, in my opinion, Mbappe said he's the first man I need when I stay at PSG. Second thing. Now... I'm going to do a link up now because if Luis Kampf is the man and I don't believe in Poch, a coach needs to be decided. And Luis Kampf, when he comes, he is uh, appointed as a football advisor. And when you said he won the league with Lille, he won the league with uh, Monaco, with it was as a sporting director. So naturally, we'd assume he'd go for the same role as Leonardo. But PSG said, a football advisor. And for that reason, I fully believe that the news about Zidane is very true. Because if it was a sporting director role, he would have a big say in the transfers. The same say as Zidane. But as a, as a football advisor, he's just a football advisor, not the same role. And that's why I gotta say, Zidane news to PSG is truthful. Is truthful, so yeah, it might be true, but it might not. Uh, today, the mm -hmm. 10th of June, <laughs> uh, Friday, mm -hmm. um, Zidane's agent already said that they were not contacted by any member of mm. the PSG team. Okay, uh, so yeah, maybe they're playing. They're playing hard. You know, it's just like they're waiting for them to rise the offer. <laughs> <laughs> Just yep. pretending they, know, they don't know anything. Mm -hmm. uh, but I truly believe that can happen, yes. And Luis Campos always tries to appoint good coaches. He did yes. that at Monaco with Leonard Jardim. He did that at Lille. Um, what was the, the, the name Christopher of Christopher Galtier. Exactly. Yep. And an amazing coach. What mm -hmm. he did with Lille is not, not at the reach of many coaches, okay? True. Uh, with the squad he had, because the squad was not out of this world. Can it was I? a good squad, but not out of this world, True. okay? Like Mike Magnan, that went to AC Milan. Yeah, he, he's one of the best keepers around. That's Luis Camps. That's Luis uh, Camps. That's true. Jonathan David. But he knows what he's doing when he's appointing coaches. And if mm -hmm. you see, the first coaches that were targeted to go to PSG were Ruben Amri <sighs> and José Mourinho, uh, which they didn't... You could say so. And Sergio Conceição as well. Yeah. But the three 
weren't able to go because Ruben Amorim and José Mourinho already compromised for one more season at least at the place where they're at. Mm -hmm. They have a good project going on. Uh, they believe they each each of them believes in their project just like Sergio Conceição does. Yes. And so they won't leave. But Zidane, he's unemployed. Mm -hmm. He he has proved himself at Real Madrid. Is he done above all, above being a coach? He's a great man manager. Okay? Yes. He's a great talent manager. Very true. And being a talent manager is the most important thing in a squad like PSG. True, true. And just leading up with what you said, Luis Campos is an excellent man, man employer. Okay. He's very good with the management of players. Okay. He's a football advisor and counselor for the players. Abel Freire recently said that when he speaks to the players about their future financial reasons, he said the man that educated him was Luis Campos financially to think about his future after being a football player. And, so and that I, makes a huge difference because huge. Yeah, they're like their feet are on the ground. Mm -hmm. They are more relaxed. They know what they know what life will bring mm -hmm. can bring for them. So and I think that helps a little bit towards the focus on the pitch, okay? And for a football player to be a champion he has to, more importantly, be not just a football player, but a man. He has to have a, a clear notion of the culture, the hard work he needs to have to win. Because, because that is an exclusive level, a high level. It gives you the edge. That's the it, mentality edge. You exactly. Know? And I think that's lacking a little bit at PSG. I yeah. mean, uh, I really think they need an ego manager. And no, no one's better at ego managing that, than Wish Camps and Zinedine Zidane. So. so with all this, like we're highly, we're mentioning them highly. So Mbappe believes in it. In it if Mbappe signs that contract extension of three years until 2025... He believes he can win the Champions League at PSG. But do you believe he's going to get it? I mean, uh, only time can tell, but I think so. Uh, I mean, squad-wise, of course, there are almost no teams in the world that are better than PSG. Mm -hmm. Just look at that th front three. It's impossible to, to match that at the moment. Um, strong at the back as well now mm -hmm. with, with Hakimi, uh, with Marquinhos. Um, yes, Kimpembe, I think that renewal, but I think he can Yeah, but I, I still think they, they need another center back. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Uh, I, at the goal, they, they, it's impossible to find a better substitute to, to Donnarumma. If you look at the bench, they have Keller or Navas even. They He's have two, two world-class goalkeepers. But I think he'll, he'll go. He'll leave. You he'll think leave. he'll leave? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think he won't... Um, he, w he won't be happy with the current situation sure. staying at the bench. He's a world-class keeper, okay? Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, at the moment, PSG have two world-class keepers. Uh, probably the most promising one, Donnarumma. Mm -hmm. He's been promising for like five years. <laughs> 23. Uh, 23? He's 23 He's still, still 23, it's, which is really young for a goalkeeper. If you look at um, Portugal's uh, Diogo goal, Costa, yeah. you see Diogo Costa. He just appeared right now. Super young. Only 22. Donnarumma yeah. has 23 and has 10 times more experience Shh. than Diogo Costa. Levels. So, yeah, Donnarumma is set to become one of the greatest goalkeepers of all time. So, Shh. they are really well served. That's a back. Uh, in goal, PSG. What a Euros moment, um, though, he had. That is, yeah. for his legacy, those penalty saves. It's amazing, man. We're beautiful. Yeah. So Buff Buffon level, right? I agree. So Mbappe wins the Champions League, you reckon, with PSG. So he wins, too, the Ballon d'Or at PSG in the future. <sighs> man, really, um, I don't like to talk about this topic because mm -hmm. I, I, th I just think that um, since he, re he, he renewed, mm -hmm. since he accepted, accepted to renew at yes. PSG, I think, in my opinion, Mbappe's chances to win the Ballon d'Or have dropped drastically, okay? Shh. I think that the chances of him winning the Ballon d'Or would be much greater playing at, at, a, at a team like Real Madrid. Fucked. And that's, that's that, okay? Fucked. Real Madrid is a, uh, a Champions League pedigree team, mm -hmm. okay? And every time that, the, that Real Madrid wins the Champions League or go far in the competition, mm -hmm. the chances are one of their players are going to win the Ballon d'Or. Okay? Fact. It's, it's culture. It's, mm -hmm. it's football, footballistic culture. Completely agree. And I think for him, I'm not saying if it's uh, deserved or not, but for M Mbappe to win the Ballon d'Or, I think his chances would be much better at Real Madrid than they are at PSG. Completely agree with you with that. And you, so you believe in it? And I'm going to say I believe... Mbappe will win the Ballon d'Or at PSG. Now 23, at 26, I believe it's going to happen. And it's with the appointment of Luis Campos and certainly more chances with the appointment 
of Zidane because, yeah, the elite level. But at 26, he might be at Real Madrid already. Shh. But I don't know if Real Madrid are going to take him back after this. Well, after the, if Real don't take him, if Real doesn't take Mbappe, Mbappe will just knock next door and go to Barce Barcelona. If, if they won't take him. But I can't see that happen, though. Real Madrid has to accept Mbappe. Man, yeah, no? but many fans are just hurting. It is. It is. It They're is. hurting. It's, it, it must be hard for, for Real Madrid fans, too. But PSG They're already fans. dreaming because they won the Champions League, so it can't get any better than this. True. And they were getting Mbappe, so <laughs> there will be no competition next very season. Very true, very but true. Now and being a rebuild, like we mentioned, we believe Zidane or Galtier, two excellent mentions that Luis Kamsch could appoint. And now... We, I just got to mention who I think is going to leave, okay? I think Icardi's in trouble. Draxler's in trouble. Di Maria, I think he's already trying to go. Sarabia. Sa Sarabia. Do you think he's, he's going to leave? Because he, he, he has a market value, Athletic okay? Madrid, yeah, 15. So how much would he go for? I don't know, but Sarab Sarabia is uh, really underrated, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, he's crucial, even for Spain. He's a starter for Spain. This last match against Switzerland, he scored the winner mm -hmm. uh, for UEFA in the UEFA Nations League. Yes. So he's a good player, a key player for one of the best national teams uh, around. True. Uh, not the best one at the moment, but one of the best. <laughs> uh, and I think he... he 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 should have his chance at PSG because he has the quality, even if it's Sarabia. even if it's it is as a sub. But I don't think he's gonna accept to be a sub at mm -hmm. PSG. I agree. Um, I he, agree. he just performed his most wonderful s season on his career mm -hmm. uh, in Portugal, and yeah, I reckon he's gonna leave. He has a market value, and I think PSG will will want to take advantage of it. Well, top th top three player you said in Portugal, right? Oh uh, yeah. Here. I think uh, once Luis Diaz left, I think he was, con he, for me, he was Darwin. the best player. Next to Darwin. Um, Darwin's still a little bit uh, ripe. <laughs> uh, not ripe, green, you know. It's <laughs> still not ripe. So uh, I think he will get there. He mm -hmm. will get to that level that he, I think he might even be better than Luis Diaz one day, Darwin. Okay. He but has the potential. Different, different positions, different, different positions. Different positions, but I, I don't know, man. I but think that Klopp... W will try to use Let's at some point Luis Diaz in the middle as well. That, that's, that can happen. That can happen. That work rate. So with PSG just going back, Di Maria, I think he's going to go. Yeah. Draxler, Icardi, Wijnaldum. Okay, that move didn't work out for Wijnaldum. Yeah. Herrera. I think Herrera. I forgot he was even there type beats. And I, then I don't think Herrera is going to leave. I think he's you committed don't reckon? to... The player, I know he's committed to stay because I've seen reports. I've seen Fabrizio Romano saying that Herrera told the press that he wanted to stay another year at and PSG. And Icardi too. Icardi said he wants to stay, but I don't know. I, I don't know if Luis Kamsch wants that, but it can happen. And Bernat. Bernat too. I don't reckon. Now that Nun Mensch was the first decision of yeah, signing but, him permanently. But, but they need a good sub for Nun Mensch. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kurwaza. Kurwaza is good. Uh, Kurwaza yeah, doesn't play Kurs bad. Uh, Kurzawa. Kurzawa yeah. doesn't play bad. I yeah, like he him. But he was reported to leave last year. I don't know. Uh, but I would prefer, like personally, Kurzawa to Bernat. Personally. So, a bunch of players have to leave. And the ones that are going to stay. You got Mbappe. Verratti, he won't go. Verratti, crucial player. Ever since he came from Pescara. One of the most underrated transfers ever. Okay. And not even mentioned. Nobody mentions who was with Verratti before PSG. So, Verratti is going to stay. Messi. Okay, the last season of Messi with PSG. And that's why the expectations for Mbappe to get that Champions League are certainly very high with Messi. And that's why this transfer window But the has thing is, crazy. if they win the Champions League this year, mm -hmm. who's going to win the Ballon d'Or? Mbappe or Messi? That's what we're going to see throughout Mbappe, the season. Mbappe, Mbappe, more important, I'd say. You no? don't know. You don't know what's going to happen <laughs> next season. Mbappe! <laughs> But Messi is still Messi, you know. He, he from one moment to the other, he can just blow up, you know. Very true, very true. And Sergio Rams would love the appointment too of Zidane. Okay, the Rams would be, oh my gosh, this is my manager. How could I forget Sergio Rams when mentioning the PSG center back? Definitely, definitely. But I still, need, I still think they should get a, bo a ball playing center back. I agree, I agree, I agree. And I think you have a transfer to say afterwards with, I'm not going to say it still, but Nunminch, Donnarumma. Uh, Akimi and Marquinhos all to stay and then I have three doubts do you think Danilo stays at PSG I mean uh, Danilo is really I think he's underrated okay because nah, center back Danilo no Portugal. he's underrated <laughs> come on he scored 
five goals um, this year for PSG mm -hmm. in a team full of stars that they have no lack of players to score goals and you manage to score five. He's a player that can play at either center back or mi uh, or the defensive midfielder. True. Okay, so the that new, yeah. that adds value to a squad. So mm -hmm. I think Danilo might stay even if it's not to start. But I think that PSG need a player like Danilo at the defensive midfield. Okay, I like you. I'm not saying that they cannot find better. I think they can find better. Okay. But I think they're well served with the new. And Leandro Perez, now with the World Cup coming too, do you reckon he'll stay too? Um, I don't know. I, I think that probably PSG will make some changes in the midfield. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think uh, Leandro Perez is a, a candidate to leave because okay. they can still get a little Good bit money. of cash for him. Um, Atletico but would see that's me. not the thing. The thing is, who will they get? Because Chouameni is already going True. to... To Real Madrid, True. right? Mm -hmm. So that that's a no for PSG for sure. Mm -hmm. So who's the midfielder they're gonna get? Well, with the news of Zidane, okay, arriving, we still have no confirmation of Juve Pogba, and I think that's the main reason why. I think Pogba is waiting on the decision if Zidane is really going to PSG, oh and man. if he does go. Okay, this French core that is starting to broom at PSG. If that happens, man, if Pogba to Z PSG happens, they really need an, e an ego manager. <laughs> Come on. Zidane, Messi, Pogba, Neymar's in trouble with all this, no? Yeah, <laughs> you reckon? I think Neymar is gonna go, yeah. I think this year? This year, I think they will definitely... I don't reckon, man. If they are doing the all-in, if they renewed with Mbappe, I think it's their... Champions League all in. I, I think don't think he's going to knows that Neymar, okay, he's, he might be one of the most talented players ever to grace the football pitch. But for that locker room management, I think Neymar is the first to go. And that's why, that's one of the reasons I said that Prime Bale was better than Prime Neymar. Or, or at least <laughs> that Bale had a better that. career. <laughs> no, but, but the thing is, okay, just let me, okay, it's okay. really quick. Because... Bale doesn't ruin the locker room. He might be a trouble for Real. He might have been a trouble for Real Madrid this last couple of years, but he never ruined the locker room. But if Bale went to PSG for two hundred and twenty million, would they have won the Champions League? We'll never know. I don't think they would have. I don't think they would have we'll personally. So with Neymar, those exp But I. But I feel you. I feel where you're coming from, and I. I understand. But you said who comes in. It is true. And who do you reckon is gonna come in? To PSG to start with. I mean, uh, I, I stated that PSG might need a ball-playing defender. Mm -hmm. And I know just the guy. I think you know who I'm going to mm -hmm. mention. Uh, Gonzalo Inácio uh, ah, for PSG. Okay. Uh, I think he's really, really underrated by the Portugal um, coach. That's okay, both. By Fernand Sanch. Um, because I don't see many, many defenders uh, with the passing ability That's Gonzalo Inácio has. Okay. And that will be crucial in a team with the likes of Mbappe, Messi, and Neymar. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, furthermore, they already they also have this is like me kind of imagining stuff. <laughs> um, they also have some leverage because they can give Sporting a thing Sarabia. that Sporting really would love to have next well. season, which is Pablo Sarabia. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and having that that in their sleeve, mm -hmm. I think that there's a really good chance for Sporting to sell. Gonzalo Inácio at a reasonable uh, price to PSG. 30 million, it'd be? If Sarabi is included in the deal, in the deal with one more season loan, I would reckon 25, yeah, Shh. 25 million. Gonzalo Inácio, people. I like this bold mention. And Luis Campos, which is Portuguese, he definitely will know. And that's why I said Gonzalo Inácio, because Luis Campos pays attention to the Portuguese But he won't start. Sure. Do you reckon he starts no, at PSG? No, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it, will it will depend on what Zidane wants uh, as a um, game style at I, PSG. I agree with okay? you. Uh, because I, I think that if he goes to PS PSG, he will be top two best ball playing defender at PSG, at the squad. Um, I think Merkings and, and Gonzalo. I think. He, better than Rams. Uh, I think, yeah, not defending, of course. No, 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 yes. no one, no one, almost no one's better than Sergio Rams at defending, but passing wise, I think so. But I, I agree. I like that solid option. I think it would be good. To, and, and it, it also depends on the type of match they're playing, okay? True, true. If they want to, to, if they want to boss around that match, maybe Gonzalo Inácio would play. But if they want, it's if it's more 50 50 game, maybe he wouldn't play. Okay, the player I'm just going to mention here, Kim Pembe, in all this. I think he's the player that must be thinking, I deserve more importance. And there could be a chance that Kim Pembe doesn't stay at PSG. But whoever gets him is a really good deal, okay? Because if he's confident, 
he definitely can be one of the best yeah, center backs. Alex, don't, don't forget that Merkins can play as well at, at a defensive midfielder position, and that you would the <laughs> you well, then Danilo would go to the bench, <laughs> but, I think. But I but feel you, I feel you. But there's a player too that's been mentioned a bunch in the news to go to PSG. And for me, one of the most underrated players in the world at center back, no doubt, Milan Skriniar of Inter, okay? And Inter, we all know they always like a good deal, okay? A good sell. And Milan Skriniar or Bastoni, if Inter have to sell one, Skriniar, I, I understand, okay? Okay, so... 50 million is reportedly the first offer from PSG, but 70 million is what they're asking for. So you think they will meet the 70 million for Skriniar? I think they might meet halfway. <laughs> and I think this deal would be definitely... That's a quite a whole lot for, it's, for him. But for Luis Kampsch, it would be, what is the player I certainly believe he'll be a sure guarantee for PSG and it would show good talent ID? It's Milan Skriniar. Not a lot of people mention him. And he's one of the best center backs in the world. So I think this would be a great opening deal. And the second player, just for lead up, because he's in Serie A too, reports it by Gianluca Di Marcio. Uh, being in Milan, Luis Campos met with Sassuolo and Gianluca Scamacca is, as it seems too, a target for PSG. And if Luis Campos wants Scamacca at PSG, Arsenal! What are you waiting for, okay? That, that makes no sense for me. Yeah, but a I player think like him being yeah, available. Yeah, but he would choose uh, to go to Arsenal rather than PSG. I you think. reckon? But because he would have more, many more chances to play at Arsenal than at PSG at the moment. Mm, you reckon? Yeah. Well, man, even because La Lacazette just left Arsenal, so mm -hmm. he's not counting no, anymore. No, I do believe he'd be uh, definitely a more of a, um, let's say, a more of a star at Arsenal because mm -hmm. they definitely need a finisher. But at PSG. He gets more but money. Man, come on, more Arsenal just l let go of Aubameyang, Lacazette. They really need a reference. Definitely, course. definitely. But yeah, PSG wants Kamaka, so that's the news. It seems, and it might happen. But yeah, might listen. Happen. If you were Kamaka and the P a PSG guy approaches you and tells you, "Okay, you're gonna play like you're gonna be a sub, yeah, like almost every match, Champions League, no chance you're starting." So what would you do? Arsenal's playing. No, Arsenal's not playing Champions League actually. No, nope. Tottenham <laughs> finished top four. Yeah. <laughs> But even so, even if it's to improve himself, I think that I would, I would, if I was Kamaka, I would rather go to Arsenal than PSG. So people, put down below, who do you think PSG should get? And do you have any last thoughts for PSG? I mean, uh, I, I just mentioned the um, defensive midfielder yes. uh, matter, but uh, I, I, I have no clue for, for who they could get. So and Kunku no last one. shout, and Kunku to return to PSG. Put Listen. down below what do you I think can happen with PSG. Put the transfers. Is Zidane coming? And please, people, if you're here until the end, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel at FC Wonderkid Community. Got to go bold, people. Comment section, guys. <laughs> Don't forget.